Welcome back to C Turbo Addicts channel. Wanted to talk to you real briefly about a company called HTP um, and a Miller Diversion 180. So let me show you a little something here. On the Diversion 180, this is an older model. This is a 2011 model. And if you don't know how to figure out what year it is, on the back, there is a serial number back here. You can look it up on Miller's uh, website and it'll tell you what year it is. If you pop it open, you can also see the inspected date on it as well. So, um, just wanted to talk about this TIG. <clears throat> this is the torch that comes on this TIG. Uh, it's a finger control deal, but it also has a port for a foot pedal here. So, on this, the main hose is, is really, really bulky. It's an extremely bulky, extremely heavy, cumbersome kind of TIG torch. I, I, not a big fan of it. Um, I'm used to most of the guys, and I'm, and I'm a new TIG welder, but most of the guys that I deal with and, and guys that work with me, um, they all have dynasties, and they all use the WP-17 style or WP-9 style. Um, so this doesn't have any of those DINs connections where you can kind of quick connect it. And you can see also running up the main lead is the finger control uh, wire as well. So you've got a hardwired ground uh, and then a hardwired TIG torch connection. So to put a CK-17 on there, this company called HTP sells this uh, little fitting and it's called the M-I-L-D-I-V-C-K. This fitting apparently will work for the Miller Diversion 165, the Miller Diversion 180, and I think the Hobart 165 as well. Now the new Diversion 180s do come with a WP-17 torch and standard DINs uh, connections on the front of the machine. There is a couple companies out there that make DINs conversions for these as well to make this kind of work. Um, so I bought this, it was like $20. Uh, they also sell the CK-17 with this fitting as well. So, and I think it's like 130 bucks. It's actually a really good, uh, torch and fitting combo to make the diversion 180 work well i had called them and i had said hey how do i make this work and they said we sell hundreds of them you know no worries and i i still was a little confused um but they were super super helpful with the customer service and i was like you know what for 22 dollars, i'm just gonna buy this thing after talking to you so i wanted to show you what inside the machine looks like and how this fitting actually works i am gonna go ahead and take it apart put it back together and hook it all up. But I do want to show you kind of what the inside looks like if you are curious about this. Because it's a single source, let me see if I can get you a really good view here. Sorry. That is your torch lead and the hose for the torch. So it looks to me like what they do is they, you can just remove this. This is uh, threaded on through a, basically a plastic isolator between the two. So I'm gonna remove this cable strain off. I'm gonna look inside, but this is your connection right here that you replace with this fitting. So this fitting will take a standard WP-17 or CK-17 torch, uh, as well as I think the WP-9, CK-9, whatever you wanna call it. And this will then hook up. So it looks very similar to kind of what is there in my mind. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this and show you a little bit further. All right, so I've disassembled the main torch wire, um, more than torch cable, as well as the cable strain that was originally on this and all of the uh, locking plastic isolator and all that stuff. So here's the new HTP weld uh, fitting and as you can see it's almost identical to the f crimped end of the original TIG torch so this will essentially lay out like this you will have sorry about all the mess you'll have your new WP-17 or CK-17 you place the old cable strain on there Here's your isolator for the box. This guy will thread into here. This fitting will thread on the end. 
you'll then pass all of these through. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and show you what that looks like. Okay, so there's the new fitting put on with one of the old brass washers and the WP-17 threaded into the new fitting with the proper threads. So now I'm going to go ahead and just slide this strain relief through. And you'll see that it bottoms out once you push it all the way through. And then you just kind of, sorry, it's hard to do one-handed. You just go ahead and thread that strain relief on right onto the cable the way that it was. As you can see now, I just put the original strain relief back in. Um, we already screwed that down, passed it through, and put the plastic lock nut on the back side. The main power cord for the TIG torch now slides right back over. We add the last brass nut to this equation and it almost looks identical to the original installation tighten these two down rehook your gas line back up and you're done thanks for watching everybody again um this is uh i bought this part myself this guy's but um uh an htp revolution uh, these guys, their website is uh, usaweld.com, and the part number I would show you this, but it is got my address on. I don't want anybody showing up. It was thirty bucks and twenty five cents shipped to my house. Um, usaweld.com, HTP welders. Uh, they make this fitting. If you've got a diversion one hundred and eighty, to bring you into the modern realm, so. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. All right, one final tip here. Now that I've got it completely hooked up and tested it, and it is working. Um, so I use the foot pedal plug here for the RJ. I think it's a 45 connector to the foot pedal. This is where the old cable came out for the fingertip control. Um, what I did was I actually took the entire torch and just disassembled it, pulled the cable all the way back through, wound it up, zip tied it together, and laid it in the bottom of the machine inside in case I ever need to go back to that, uh, that handle. So that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and post this up, and um, good luck with your Diversion 180, and uh, thanks for watching.